caution. You are about to enter the no spin zone. The factor begins right now. Hello, world. Today is January 1st, 2008. Uh, nobody showed up at Fox News today. Bill O'Reilly is out, and I'm filling in. My name is Chris Bassbug, and I am YouTube's humble correspondent for Fox News. Now, of course, there's not much news today, um, but we do have an exclusive report on the Ron Paul Paul Tard blip. We'll see how that's doing. But first, we have a, an exclusive interview with Hillary Rodden Clinton. Of course, she is on vacation, but she was nice enough to afford us a few questions. Let's welcome her to the program. Mr. Senator, welcome back to the program. Well, it's great to be back, Chris. Thank you. Senator, it would be interesting to note that just over a year ago, on September 24th, 2006, your husband had an exclusive interview on Fox News. Um, I would like to play a clip for that, if I may. You did Fox's bidding on this show. You did your nice little conservative hit job on me. Fox's bidding? Conservative hit jobs? The question I have for you, Mr. Senator, is... What are you doing with this guy? This guy, this guy's a nut. He's a, he's a flaming loon. <laughs> well, Chris, if you had uh, walked even a day in our shoes over the last 15 years, I'm sure you'd understand. Well, Mr. Senator, thank you very much for being on the show today. I know you're very busy, so I'd like to wish you and your husband the warmest regards, and please tell your husband not to be a stranger on Fox News. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be happy to hear that, Chris. Thank you. Now for our exclusive coverage on the Ron Paul Tard blimp, also known as the Paul Tardenberg. Ron Paul has hired a blimp owner for, for a tremendously low price of $350,000 to rent a blimp for a whole month. This way, Ron Paul can, hire, can fly the blimp over the Super Bowl, the up-and-coming Super Bowl, plus over the New Year's Eve celebrations over Times Square last night. He also wanted to fly the blimp over the Boston Tea Party that took place last month. I'm not sure if he, if he made it to the Boston Tea Party, but he did make it to the New Year's Eve celebrations last night over Times Square. However, the problem is this. A band of old ladies that do not like Ron Paul, let me tell you something, there was millions of people in Times Square last night, and very, very few of them were Ron Paul supporters. And the ones that were, they kept it to themselves. But these little old ladies, they're more like vigilantes. When they saw the blimp, they started firing on the blimp with small arms fire. And this is what happened. Sally, can you please roll the tape? Chris crowded the windows to watch a roar and a burst of flame near the big tail fins turned the ship into a flaming inferno. among them fell or jumped and were dragged to safety before the fiery furnace took their lives. Heroic work by name. Wow, I haven't seen anything like that in a long, long, long time. But i got to tell you, it kind of coincides with the kind of campaign Ron Paul is running. You know, the downing of the blimp, the downing of the, of the, the Ron Paul support. Um, the, the guy, the, the, the blimp has about as much chance of flying as Ron Paul has of winning any of the primaries. Time for viewer hate mail. In the viewer hate mail section tonight, it's me, Rod, says, Oh my God, I'm sure I'm not the first person to tell you what a moron you are. We are one with the universe, says. You shouldn't mix liquor with your meds. Nice. Rocky1990 says, Ron Paul mentioned the war on terror? Such bull. War on terror is a fake. Everyone knows it. Well, sir, Mr. Rocky, if the war on terror is a fake, I dare you to put on a Ronald McDonald suit and take a walk down any street in Baghdad. Now that is all the time we have left for tonight. My name is Chris Bassbug, and remember the spin stops right here. Thank you for watching.